Chapter 21. Oddly enough, the priest must marry inside the family. And the twelve-year-old cousin must be a virgin and have nice tits and a hot ass. Verse 19. When the daughter of a priest defiles herself through harlotry, it is, is her father whom she defiles. She shall be put to the fire. Was that Moses or Moloch? Both are fire cults. No priest can have a defect. Priests with defects such as being blind, lame, one leg longer than the other, broken leg or arm, hunchback, dwarf, growth in eye, boil scar or crushed testes, as in broken balls. He can eat but he is restricted to where he can go and what he can do. Sounds a little like Hitler's idea of only breeding healthy blondes. The rest were burnt or sent to camp. Crazy creeds held us down with fear and hate, made us think of the beginning was too late. The world as we know it, it has come to an end. Time has come to make your enemy your friend. Alas, we stray from our dear friend Lord Moses. Okay, so remember, if you're a priest, you have to have a virgin child in the family. I think in the family doesn't have to be your own sister or your. Oh, well, you can't marry your daughter if you haven't had her yet. Um, cousin, what have I got a hair? Cousin, you can marry your cousin. Ah, hair. And if she has sex, you have to burn her. I mean, if she has sex with somebody else. That's what they mean with harlotry. A harlot is someone who has sex. Of course, it's all right for men to have sex, but not the women. So you're almost forced to have sex with boys because otherwise you're making the women harlots. So either you hate the women and don't give a shit if they're being burned. It doesn't work, you know. The whole Martha, the Martha thing just, just doesn't work. It simply does not work. 